Hey folks, uh, a real short video about Caden Live. I recently switched off of Olive Editor to Caden Live, and it's a pretty capable editor. Uh, it doesn't quite fit the way that I usually work. I have very simple editing needs. Um, I basically just have to, you know, I have videos where I talk. I'm going to compare next to Take out my ums and ahs and, you know, stupid parts that I fumble over words and and stuff like that so uh my my editing needs are really simple caden live isn't out of the box really set up to deal with this very well um and what i mean by that is that typically you know the only really the only thing i ever need to do is just i need to get to a point in a video i need to cut out some portion where i say something dumb and then move the stuff that's over on the right back over to the left you know cutting out that that bit so the normal way that people uh, say to do this in Caden Live is to, you know, you, you, you either press X, which selects this, this razor tool thing, and then you sort of carefully, you know, move it to where you, your playhead is, and then you, you click, and hopefully you get it in the right spot, and then, you know, uh, but in that case, if you notice, you got to go back over the selection tool to, to not get out of the razor tool and not cut it again, but if you don't have all the clips selected uh, on the timeline, which is, you know, if I if I want to, you know, have more than one clip on the timeline, I usually want to cut them all at the same time. Uh, if I don't have them all selected, it, it, it doesn't do the right thing. So it's just a lot of fiddly fiddliness. Um, and so I, I, I sort of figured out some workarounds for this. Uh, we'll talk about deletion in a second, but at least for cutting... Um, I'm going to undo what I just did there. Uh, instead of trying to use, you know, the, the razor tool by itself, there is there is a very nice shortcut. You can set a, uh, I'm not sure where it is in the menu. It's, it's probably under edit or something. I don't know where it is in the menu. But if you go to configure keyboard shortcuts, search for cut, and cut all clips, uh, I, it's by default, it's mapped to control shift R, remapped it to control K also. Uh, because that's what Olive Editor had it as. So now my, you know, instead of doing all that fiddliness to, to cut all the clips, I just, you know, let, let's say I want to... So I'm going to compare NixOS against Fedora Silverblue. Let's say I want to cut that. I go to, I put my playhead there, press Control-K, it cuts all the clips. Fantastic. Beautiful. All right, I don't have to think about that. So I'm going to compare NixOS against Fedora Silverblue. Uh, and now I press Control-K again. And now that perfect, perfect. That's a, that's really what I want. I just want want to, you know, this bread and butter sort of editing stuff. Just get rid of that bit, that bit. And so, the what they what folks would have you do now now that you've cut something or you know, cut markers and you want to get rid of something is they say okay, well you need to select the clip and then you need to also select the other clip. You know, press shift and select the other clip so you have all those and then you press delete. And then you go over here and you press that, you press shift again to select that, and then you move this over like so. It's just a lot of fit in this. It's just, just, just too much work. So instead of that, um, I'm going to undo what I just did. Instead of that, I, there, there is a, uh, a reasonable way to work around this. You, you do have to select all these things, all the stuff on the timeline, and then just go to extract clip like that, and it moves everything. It's like a ripple delete sort of thing. Fantastic. It's it's a little fiddly because you have to select the things, you know, every everything. But it's good enough for me. It works fine. So instead of actually doing, you know, right clicking using a mouse, I actually map that to a to another keyboard shortcut. So you know, extract clip, have it as shift delete, which is is what it was in Olive Editor. So now when I want to just get get rid of all this stuff and ripple delete all this stuff, select all that, press shift delete, done. I think that is the mean potatoes of what lots of people who do edit, video editing want to do. It's it's kind of strange that it's that it's set up to be so fiddly in in Caden Live. I'm not trying to bust on Caden Live. It's it's free and it does a good job, but it is a lot of work. So hopefully this helps somebody. I I know it took me a while to figure this out. So thanks for watching.